first off, give Belmont a lot of credit. Uh, uh, they make it hard, very difficult for you to play. They, they take a lot of, they, they take a lot out of you the way they play offensively. When they're making threes, uh, good or bad, right or wrong, it affects the way you play. You know, it's it seemed like every time we had a chance, and there wasn't much the first half. We were just fighting for our lives to get get to the halftime down seven while we was down. Didn't think we could play much worse. Scored 26 points and. Uh, but but offensively, when you make 14 threes, and that's who they are, and we just we go one for 12 tonight for whatever reason, it's a big difference. And those threes again are like taking a knife and sticking it in a balloon every time they made one. And they made some time ones again that second half. Every time we started to make a run, had a chance, uh, we never could get over that hump. Even though we tied the game up. Um, you just got to know time and score a little bit right there. Uh, you can't let their best shooter, um, EK, 32 catch a thing and score, shoot it. And if I'm not correct, he's the one with the tie game, knocks that three down that right wing. Just can't happen. He's one of those guys that's a catch and shoot guy. He's not their best penetrator, and you got no personnel in situations. And uh, But again, um, had a great crowd. Crowd got into it. Crowd did their part. I wish we could have found a way to make another basket or get another stop and get over the hump, but we just didn't do it. You know, again, I never thought we had rhythm all night. Choose your poison. You play big, and I say big, Dwight and Justin. Uh, man, you got to match them out there shooting them threes. You got to match them. That's hard. It forced us to have to play a lot of small ball the second half just so we could try to defend that three point shot a little bit better. But when you do, you give up some things. I thought we gave up some offensive rebounds. I didn't think we were quite as good throwing a consistent to the block and getting some things done. We didn't get a lot of easy putbacks. Uh, but again, give them credit. They're very difficult to play against. Questions? What was the breakdown of the foul play where we get the You know, I, I don't know if there's a breakdown. You just got to know time and score a little bit, time on that shot clock. Um, and it was, it was, it was uh, Monte. I don't remember if it came off penetration. I just know on that right wing, um, we were still in. Tay had him. Monte was on him. You just got to know that situation. You got to go up under him and know where that is. And again, I don't know. I'll go back and watch film and see it. I don't know if it came off a of penetration, but he's our leading scorer. He's our best three point shooter. He's a guy that wants to take that shot late in the game, and he took it um, and made it. You mentioned trying to get over the hump there late. What was the kind of the mentality defensively? The we, we were switching, you know, that we were just trying, you know, we came out and played man most started first half and wasn't slowing them down much. I know at the first time out, I think they'd scored 14 points and you rolled dice a little bit and played some zone. We went to the trap and went to zone. Thought it changed the rhythm of the game some. Thought it gave us a chance. They had a couple turnovers. But at the same time, uh, they had some plays out of it. You know, they throw down that side in front of their bench, hit a, hit a big three. They throw down that side, <clears throat> and we got a bad closeout. They drive baseline and get somebody for a layup. You know, those are those are baskets you can't give up when you're fighting for your life. But again, choose your poison a little bit. Um, when they're making shots, and they made some shots, uh, they're very difficult. Uh, they're an experienced team. You know, that Luke kid, you know, he's a, he's a tough competitor. Uh, he finds those guys. Um, like I say, E.K., he's a, he's a guy that shoot that basketball. I think he made all three of his five threes came to the second half, didn't they? Probably two of them came in that last five, six minutes when that game was really, really on the line a little bit. You mentioned the shots not falling. Did you like the shots? You know, Dominic, I can't remember enough to – uh, if you ask me if I remember anybody taking bad shots, not really. I don't remember I like, taking any bad shots. Uh, Jake missed some shots. You know, one guy tonight that didn't make shots, that's made them made plays is Darius. And he goes two for 11. And we ain't had a night like that, have we? Right. You know, and again, it's a it's a one possession game. You know, it comes down to one possession. Uh, you know, 
I never subbed Darius and I probably needed he needed some rest. Uh, but only three we hit was Tavion. Tavion hit one second half, didn't he? Um, so if you ask me, I can't remember all 11 of them, where they came from, um, how open they were. But I don't remember anybody just taking up some bad shots. I don't remember that, no. Coach, it's often said that you'll hear coaches say you learn more from a loss than a win. Who says that? So you'll hear coaches say it sometimes. Man, where are those coaches at? <laughs> but go ahead, I'm listening to you. Go ahead, I'm listening. Um, is that all true with this game tonight? Did you learn more from your team? Well, you know, if you ask me, would I rather win and learn from a win versus a loss? Absolutely. No question. Um, you know, I think you can you can probably coach more from a win you can a loss, if that makes any sense, because you really, really keep getting on some guys now. You know, mentally you got to make sure you're right and all that. But, you know, learning from that thing, boy, I don't know uh, what we learn. We learned that we just we, – we weren't as sharp as we need to be the first half. But give them some credit. They have a lot to do with that. Uh, they make those timely threes. Again, it's like taking a dagger in you sometimes. Those threes, it takes some air out of you. And I think that affected us. And because the way they play, they're hard to defend. Choose your poison. You spread out with them, they're going to they drive that basketball at you. They're going to take advantage of different switches. Um, they're not easy to defend, I can tell you that. Another quick turnaround. Play Friday. Friday won't be nothing easy. We know it won't be easy down there. Most guys are playing good. They got beat five or six at Illinois um, last last week. Took Evansville in overtime. Evansville was eight and two. Saturday night went into overtime at Evansville. So uh, we know it'll be a dog fight. And you got Christmas facing you, and you got to be able to get back up and you know understand what you got to go do before you go home for this break. It won't be easy. That's right. How has this non-conference schedule made this team better? Well, I mean, there's no question when we put this non-conference schedule together, we probably put it together hoping we had a few more pieces, number one. Uh, that's for sure. Um, but there's no question um, playing this schedule has made us better in every way. Uh, there hadn't been no – I can't even remember those first couple ones. There hadn't been no cupcakes. I mean, we've played great competition pretty much for the most part every night. Uh, good teams. Uh, we've been on the road against some good teams. We've been on neutral courts against good teams. Oh, it's helped us. Um, it's given us a lot of confidence. And, you know, our guys have, you know, we believe we've had a chance against a lot of people. Uh, but it's a fine line with us now. You know, it's a fine line. You know, foul trouble, you know, injury, and, you know, mentally. There's not much room for any type of slippage in any of those areas. Don't want the type of team you'd like to keep having on schedules going. Forward. No, it's a great team. I like I like playing them because they're always going to be a NCA type team, and you know that style's different. Uh, I'm so sure you're excited about playing that kind of style because you don't play against many teams that have that. Um, I mean, they're just different. You know, probably if there's one team in our league that does that a little bit, it's probably Marshall the way they play. So, no, it's, it's a good team to keep on schedule. And, you know, I, I don't know if, I don't think we're on there next year. We'll see if we can keep a series going, though. You were 11-11 11 11 from the free throw line tonight. It's the highest percentage since January of 2016. How, how important is that? Well, you dug hard for that stat. Uh, what we needed, did he? So 11 for 11, we needed to be about 15 for 15. <laughs> 15 for 15 would have been better. 11 um, 11 is good, just didn't get enough of them. Only had two the first half. It's, it's not good enough. Um, again, um, they do a good job playing without fouling. They dig in on that post. Got to be able to make some shots. And we didn't get that free throw line all the first half. Just thought we were kind of. You know, I thought them threes kept hitting us in the mouth. I really did. I just never thought we got a really good rhythm at all. The first half, score 26 points. Second half, we score 46 points. That's yeah, a huge difference. Everybody good? Got it. All right, all right guys.